Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about three tokenizers that are commonly used when training large language models and those are the byte pair encoding tokenizer, the word piece tokenizer and the sentence piece tokenizer. For those of you that are not familiar with tokenization, what it does is to split the text into words or subwords, which are converted to IDs through a lookup table and further on, each ID represents an entry in an embedding matrix that is used by a model for representing that specific token. Let's start with byte pair encoding tokenizer, commonly abbreviated as BPE, which is a subword tokenization algorithm that recursively merges the most frequent pairs of consecutive bytes or characters in a corpus. For instance, imagine that we have the following sentence, deep learning engineer. The first step that the BPE encoding does is to pre-tokenize the sentence by splitting the text into words resulting in three words with frequency 1 in our case, deep, learning, and engineer. Now, we initialize the vocabulary with all the individual characters found in the sentence, and if we were to tokenize it, we would get the following, characters divided by space. Then, we iteratively merge the most frequent pair of characters, which in our case is either in or ee, and add the merge group into the vocabulary. Let's say that we choose to add in. Now, if we were to tokenize the sentence again, using the vocabulary, we would obtain the following. We can see that both the word learning and engineer are tokenized differently and now include the in pair of characters. Next, we repeat the process and merge the tokens again and calculate the frequencies, resulting in EE having the highest frequency. So we add it to the vocabulary. Now, if we were to tokenize the sentence with the updated vocabulary, we obtain the following. We can see that both in and ee are now treated as separate tokens, which is what we expect. And again, this process of merging tokens together, based on the highest frequencies, is repeated until we reach the desired predefined vocabulary size. Moving on to the word piece tokenizer, which is very similar to the BPE encoding, in the sense that it first initializes the vocabulary to include every character present in the training data, and progressively learns a given number of merge rules. However, in contrast to BPE, WordPiece does not choose the most frequent symbol pair, but the one that maximizes the likelihood of the training data once added to the vocabulary. So what does this mean more exactly? Referring to the previous example, maximizing the likelihood of the training data is equivalent to finding the token's pair, whose probability divided by the probabilities of its first token followed by its second token, is the greatest among all token pairs. And, if we were to compute that, we would obtain the following probability, and pick either the EE or INC pairs, or, in addition to BPE encoding, due to the way probabilities work here, the NG pair, since it also has the highest likelihood. And again, the rest of the algorithm is the same as in the BPE tokenizer, the only difference being that we replace the merging criterion from frequency to maximum likelihood. Finally, the previous subword implementation assumes that the input sentences are pre-tokenized, a constraint that is usually required for efficient training, but makes the pre-processing complicated as we have to run language-dependent tokenizers in advance. What do I mean by that? Well, Imagine that we want to use the BP encoding for Japanese or Chinese, where no explicit space exists between words. So you'd have to implement different pre-tokenizers for such languages. Well, the sentence piece tokenizer tries to solve this issue by treating the input text as a stream of characters, white space included, and it does that by employing the same merging algorithm as in BP or the Unigram tokenizer, which works the other way around and initializes its base vocabulary to a large number of tokens and then progressively trims down each token to obtain a smaller vocabulary until the desired size is achieved. For instance, the resulting tokens after applying the sentence piece tokenizer on the deep learning engineer sentence could look something like this. You can observe that we have an underscore before certain tokens, which is simply a placeholder for the space, which, compared to the BPE, or word piece tokenizer allows us to reconstruct the original sentence by simply concatenating the tokens and replacing the underscore with. Speech. And that's basically how these three tokenizers work. Thanks for watching. 
and please hit the like button if you enjoyed this explanation. It greatly helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay up to date with the content I create on this channel. And until the next video, I hope you have an amazing time. See you. Bye bye.